Hello and welcome back to another episode of War Tales. My name is Saikan and today we're continuing our journey in County of Arthurs. I spent some time, quite some time actually, off screen, about uh, three or four hours, to properly uh, re-skill. And the reason why I did that is, uh, in between last time and this time, I really thought to myself, uh, are we on the right path? And this is one of the abilities that I want to share with you when approaching tactical games. Always reconsider what you're doing and why you're doing it. So a couple of the problems that I faced in the, in the last encounters were, number one, once our initial Valor has run out, we were not really good in reproducing Valor. Uh, more specifically, we only had kind of the defensive stance, and that means we were foregoing our attacks of opportunity. And then the other uh, option was that standing uh, next to our companion, Valorous support, uh, gave us a little bit of extra support. So long-winded way of saying, I think that really hasn't worked out super, uh, super well. Secondly, I am a bit torn in between like who's uh, offensive and who's defensive. We had, for instance, uh, JP Pauly, who always used his two hand weapon and he even had like massive traits such as giant strength and dexterity increased uh, by 5% uh, when wielding a two hand weapon. And that clearly when he is uh, uh, using a one hand weapon isn't really working out. So uh, that all of that led me to a very fundamental uh, thought process. Are we, are we playing the characters to their full potential or shall we just test out additional specs? So I wanted specs that are more um, uh, generous with the amount of uh, Valor that they are producing. I wanted the best possible tanks and I went through all of the three uh, trees fighter, uh, uh, destroyer or brute, I think is his original name. And then uh, the X-Men, uh, which I don't know what the original title of the class is, but the guys that are uh, using axes. And I landed on swordsman and uh, warrior uh, or brute to be the two classes that I think can tank the best uh, from what I have seen. Additionally, I wasn't 100% satisfied with uh, what Jim was bringing to the table. Um, what Jim was bringing to the table was really just the support of brutali uh, brutality, just standing next to someone generating a little bit of, uh, just a tiny bit of, um, of uh, valor, and then that is it. So what did we do? I uh, grinded money and also say, uh, changed some of uh, the skills around. In order to deal damage as a melee uh, combatant, you need strength. And JP Pauly was uh, really uh, tucked into that corner of only using crit. He's still a good uh, uh, journey uh, journeyman tinkerer, but I actually want uh, to make him a blacksmith going forward to get that plus 10 strength over time. Won't happen immediately, but I crafted a couple of uh, things as uh, part of that respec, um, and he will get more strength. With his uh, splinter weapon that we received, he's now at a respectable uh, 46 strength, which means if he hits, um, he will deal 41 points of damage. Um, equally, uh, I figured out that you need a high-level miner in order to get the better material that you need to use for endgame smithing. I wasn't aware of that, and since Enkiv, our uh, our uh, creeper, has uh, abandoned us, we're now rocking uh, a new miner. Miner gives constitution and strength, so I figured it's uh, good for a tank like Namri. And then, finally, um, we need to pick up uh, that um, that uh, tinkering and i think dilly who is already a master thief could uh, go with uh, being a tinker as and when needed ender senders i respect into thief as well stealing is very fast to be leveled it's already in uh, journeyman and really what you can uh, do with that is uh, push dexterity and crit which uh, as a combination appears to be the best for just pure damage dealing classes 
Um, that means we we'll need to give him a bit more willpower uh, on the next level ups uh, just to hit that 15 threshold and uh, then we should be good. So respecking, um, our tanks are looking a little bit different. I went from protectionist, uh, which was quote unquote just that encouragement, that protection, which the 30% I never really felt were meaningful. Uh, into destabilizing uh, strike, which really uh, helps us to deal with heavier uh, focus targets and it's an additional strike. Uh, very important change, potentially the most important one, I move from defensive stance into Valorous Duel because uh, uh, in the Bulwark, uh, uh, so in the next level, you automatically gain deflection. You don't need that extra deflection. Um, I think this year is a unnecessary duplication. So really what she does is she enters uh, she enters um, melee, gets a Valorous Duel, so one temporary Valor, and uh, will be able to, uh, to deflect. So the idea behind it is she can generate uh, a lot of uh, Valor when she's just engaging and she can spend it herself on uh, destabilizing strike as well as uh, finishing uh, blow if needed. Miss Grell is very similar. We kept the uh, destroyer uh, port here. Weakening blow is fantastic. Uh, I switched to Valorous Duel as well and I wasn't happy with the cruelty. Didn't really do much because uh, yeah, she she's now a tank and not a two-handed wielding. The whole spec was uh, flip-flopping between tank or not tank, and I want her to be a tank. I mean, she has cooking. That's 14 constitution right there for you, which is crazy amounts of hit points. So she's really, really tanky. Um, going with that Valorous uh, uh, duel, I went for opportunism, which means she automatically gains protection as, as long as there are at least two enemies, which means as, uh, if it's not a single enemy, um, she will always have protection. And if there are more um, enemies nearby, she even has brutality. So that really is good. Um, those two will be our tanks, the female frontline as they call it. Uh, with JP Pauly, I changed it around uh, quite substantially. I wanted to test something out and I am happy with Ovation, don't get me wrong. Specifically, the inspiration is good. I thought though, if we were to upgrade movement, say to 14 on all of them, they actually should be reasonably fast themselves and every single one of them has sprint. That's another five meters, so that's almost like 20 meters. Um, which means um, that, by the way, will be something that the front line will be investing in, uh, increasing movement. And it will also be something that the back line, as and when we have more uh, points, once we are through willpower, um, they will definitely invest into movement so that we're faster now that we have lost that movement. I might spec back into it if it's too oppressive but we got a really cool ability um, in exchange cutting Maelstrom and I want to see how how good that works like if you th this is essentially the ability that the hammer the X hammer of Miss Grell has always triggered it's multi-attack if we hit three people with it um, that means he attacks three times if we land a fatal blow it means he attacks yet another uh, time. So it will be slash, 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 um, and specifically against weaker enemies from the back. This here should actually hit really, really hard. I changed the uh, the uh, trigger into Valorous Chain. Each time you hit uh, several enemies, you gain one Valor. I hope that Executioner and that together will mean that he restores multiple Valor. So. Um, say if we hit three enemies that would be three Valor we spend two that's net positive even and um, I uh, went away um, a bit yeah disillusionized we had madness uh, which was a, g a good ability for low hit point uh, targets and maybe we're going back into that but um, 
the, the game appears to be quite alpha strike focused, so I wanted to try out Reckless uh, and uh, increase the damage. The first attack of each fight uh, deals 150% extra damage. Let that sink in for a second. That means uh, if we hit three times, my reading of it is, or three times, it would deal additional 150 points of damage. So we're, uh, we're looking at uh, what? 40 points of damage times three, that's 120. Uh, if enemies fall down, uh, that's another attack. So this combination could clean up three enemies right away from the get-go. So I think that's going to be a good uh, spec for Jim. We switched it around substantially. Like I said, the only thing uh, is, uh, things that he did well was Valorous support and brutality. I think that both of those skills are perfectly serviceable and fine, and uh, they are matter of fact still better than the uh, than the rest. But I was not really not having uh, the rallying cry, mainly because there are too many other things that apply fury, and it always feels like you're only hitting two or three enemies with it. Isn't really worth uh, worth it. Then I looked at Pikeman and I figured, hmm, okay, that is helpful because it is an area of control and it might help us in longer combats, but it is too uh, Valor. And for two Valor, I could, for instance, also kill three targets. So I'm not 100% sure uh, this might be good. Uh, we might be seeing it later in this playthrough, but here is a combination that I have figured out that I wanted to try. We're going with Harponeer, and Harponeer essentially means uh, you're dealing 18 points of damage uh, to units in the area and apply bleeding on all of uh, uh, on all of uh, them. It's a straight line, and you're basically like throwing a spear uh, through them. That in itself is already awesome damage. With Brutality it gets even bigger uh, because that's 30% damage increase. Now here's the kicker uh, where I think we are going to combo that off. Jim, uh, very good uh, with what he's doing and Ender Sanders has respect. Yes, you heard that correctly from Poisoner, which uh, was that Poison uh, based build. I think uh, that also worked very well with the Viper uh, dagger. Um, which I think, by the way, is still fantastic. It uh, just requires a lot of poison to be uh, to be dealt. So poisoner plus viper uh, blade is is a good combination. Um, but I wanted to test something else out, which may mean that we need to switch out that weapon if something better comes around. But dexterity plus twenty three um, is hard to argue um, that that uh, weapon isn't fantastic. So. I was thinking um, we could uh, go with um, with poison uh, with continuing to use poison weapon, but that would really require kind of multiple rounds as a setup, and I didn't like uh, I didn't like that a lot. So we're continuing with Ve Valorous victory, which means he gets uh, Valor when he kills. But I wanted to give that assassin spec, the one that we learned in the last area, a try. And it has a nice skill, which is called right between the eye. Deals damage and applies bleeding. But if the target is already bleeding, the damage is doubled. And critical damage uh, is also increased by 30%. Now, the harpoon of uh, Jim will make everybody bleed. And this here is essentially a crazy option to uh, just uh, kill whoever is bleeding. And uh, then I switched around from Deadly Contract, which I really like, it's a good ability, but I wanted to still try another one with Instinctive Throw. That might be an interesting, an inter an interesting option as, as well. Uh, so this here is an extra attack. Um, it does not poison, but this here is actually a kill attack. So if we use this, that could be a kill. Then we have our normal dagger attack and we should have two instinctive throws, which are triggering additional uh, throws um, as well. After using a skill, which this is, you're, uh, you're throwing a knife. Then we do have uh, the... Uh, mm, torch strike which should be a skill as well then we do have wrath which again should be a skill and I don't know if uh, run would trigger that as well but 
we have at least one, two, three, four attacks uh, with him. And if we play our cards right, we're getting a lot of Valor back. Not all of them cost Valor, so he sinks two Valor if he does his complete routine. So if he kills one or two enemies, he should be net neutral on and the Valor. And that is how I thought about it. It's a very bleed focused uh, build. Um, with uh, the hunter, uh, with our um, uh, archers, I I stayed exactly where we are. I think they are uh, they are very well um, specialized. So that was really it. I figured give you the rundown um, of the last four hours of what has happened. And in the meantime, we found the trail for the next hunt, uh, which is always a great uh, thing. Good, let's try that. Um, strength increased and maximum uh, Valor increased because we're fighting in the next uh, in the next fight. There we go. Um, yeah, that's a problem. Uh, we that continuous income. Yeah, I will just need to switch it around uh, to Tinkera for the night uh, for Dilly. That continuous income of scraps was uh, very helpful. So. Yeah, we, we will need to switch that around. Anyways, let's move in here. Pretty sure this is where the, this is where the pack has been located. But before we continue, let's just get some more of the caravans uh, going. And I want to show off the new skills, which I'm eager to present to you. Polly moves there, Billy. Okay, uh, let's get ready to rumble, shall we? Miss Corral moves up here. And we're starting with a weakening blow. Immediately get our Valor back. Continuing to hit him and I think she has protection, right? Yes, she does because there are enough targets in here. Oh, wow. Strong repost. I like that. Um, let's charge over here. I'm trying to build relationship between Zoe and Miss Grell, mainly because they don't like each other, and I don't think that is very healthy. Good, pushing them into a, a nice little line. Ah, 
can't hit all three of them. Well, that guy is bleeding, which is good. Um, let's position ourselves here. That gives us uh, Valor back. So far, the enemy can't even do much. Down to one HP. Okay, cool. Okay, well. Listen, there isn't that much that we can do from here. Cool, that's even a range skill. I haven't read, read that. Oh, and it re uh, refreshes the move. Well, never mind then. Oh, nice little blade just uh, for the sake of it. <laughs> That's some crazy damage. Um, okay, yep. Well, interesting spec. Moves in, casually just jumps through the entirety of uh, that map. Cool, the new specs definitely are delivering what I was hoping they would deliver. Grell moves up. And we're deliberately not killing because I want to have a chance that Grell can get supported. So he moves up. Good. They are not necessarily best friends, but it's fine. End of turn. I want to see if this here is going to hit them. Yeah, well, that was just the first strike. Okay, I think I'm onto something here, guys. Good damage. Very, very good damage. All right, so we are back. Deal with the deserters. Are we doing that? Are these here deserters? I don't know, these seem to be normal caravans. I have no idea if fighting all of them will make a difference.
let's let's just go through it to be fair i wanted to have another excuse just to try out the skills because they worked so well actually quite happy on how it has turned out mobility is a bit lower now but overall the rest really works well um we'll put jim over here kind of can throw his spear right through all four of them uh, and Miss Grell would be the first one to engage. Uh, how about we're moving to here? Tactical orders that and that way we're going to be just fine when it comes to Valor points, and let's. Sprint up, engage, we're getting Valor back. I like the Valor generation, yeah, it really helps out enormously. And I think for now we're okay. Namri down here, takes the other front, engages. With that, we're getting Valor. Uh, and this here destabilizes, which is good. So he's fractured. Just testing out all of the new uh, skills. And that would have even landed a critical hit if uh, he uh, wouldn't have had guard, uh, guard up. Okay. Yeah, we're immune to burning, so that's not a problem. The fever, however, is. Um, how about... How far is that throw? Eight meters. Well, that's not the furthest. Good. We're moving to here. That gives us brutality. It should, right? Nice hit. Kill that guy so we can get another Valor point uh, from, uh, from Namri engaging in into melee combat again. Can actually work quite well with the Valor generation. Oh, it was JP Pauly. Never mind. Jim is over here, who was the one that uh, gives brutality. Um, moves all the way over here. Throwing a spear through both of them and then move into here. Now there is the brutality I was talking about. Make extra attack and we're getting Valor back. So far the Valor generation actually is quite good. Moves to here. That's a solid hit, and that's a kill. Moves all the way to here. Unfortunately, I can't test devastating strike immediately. Okay, well, we're getting 
a lot of mileage out of that. That is some oddly satisfying numbers of DPS. Moves up to here. Gets all the Valor back. Unfortunately, can't, can't reach him, but next turn we will be able to. Good, I'm still trying to... Make sure that these two are becoming better friends. Triple hit over here. And I think we're good. Good, let's see what Enders with his new spec can do. Moves up. Starts immediately killing one. Oh yeah, well that that's a good one. Well civil knives are <clears throat> are very very potent. Hit and that should be a crit. Oh yeah. Even our tanks can kill now with all of the different strikes. So observation, the new uh, skills uh, seem to be coming together nicely. Are you guys deserters? I'd rather die than go back to Lahart's army. This man is... Do you really think Lahart will win? If this is the only way to end this war, then so be it. Alright, so solved that problem. Find the black caravan and follow it. Well, uh, well, we successfully killed all of the caravans. So I can should learn to read quest texts a little bit better. business have you here, mercenaries? <laughs> Never mind. How would you like to poison a well? Vanalis is down to his last well. You won't get another chance, and we'll make it worth your while. Oh, come now. Why so glum? It's not a heroic deed by any stretch of the imagination. But Vanalis is the one who started this war, and we've got to put an end to it one way or another, right? It'll be easy as pie, you'll see. Just throw any old carcass in the water. We brought this one, but you can use one of yours. Poisoning the wall is beneath you, is that it? Or are you stupid enough to believe that Vanalis really is Jiru's chosen? Well, I just don't like to hurt uh, mm, civilians, so you unfortunately gotta eat your words. And finally we got a good fight on our hands. Uh, Zoe, Miss Gurel. Uh, 
I think we got a nice little front line here. So we right behind Grell. That should work out well. I'm just wondering if we put JP in front here, could he, oh yeah, he could reach all of them. I just want to test something out. It's a bit of an unorthodox bit of an unorthodox way of going about it one two it's a little bit less range forty bloodshed so are you telling me this guy is taking forty points of okay well that is crazy Oh boy. Yeah, we're we're getting a lot of damage out of it. This uh, cutting maelstrom isn't bad, but it has a different AOE than the, than the normal attack. So I think we're just going to go here and uh, keep it it is for, uh, as is for now. Miss Grell moves up. I would say we are finishing uh, this guy. We're actually standing right in front. That way we can entertain another hit. Um, and another engagement that is. Okay, letting both of them fight next to one another might be helpful. We'll pass on orderly because we'll need that in a second. End of turn. Moves up. We unfortunately don't have a great generation. Well, this uh, generation of Valor, well, that should generate another point of Valor, yep. So that's really good. Um, she counter strikes all the time, and we're generating a lot of Valor just with her getting engaged every single time. Even that triggers triggers the knives. Oh yeah, the knives are good. Damn it, they are good. I like the assassin spec. Silent and deadly, just like a fart. 
Uh, very good. Anders has cleared all of this out. Roby charges forward. I think the only improvement potential could be a bit faster movement, but we'll get that over time. This guy is bleeding and unfortunately we can't do anything else. Yeah, the inspiration of moving fast, I think that would have, uh, that still would have been a good option for us. This year, unfortunately, sprint is helping a bit, but it's not the end, end all. Yeah, specifically, now yeah, when we're when we are really slow, that's not helping. Uh, that's not helping out. Uh, Zoe needs to become faster. That's a distinct problem of hers. Did he? Prints up, goes all the way to here. Can even go a bit faster, uh, further. Oh, look at you. Well, the new skills can't uh, can't really shine if uh, if we're that far away. Uh, lesson learned: we're a bit we're a bit uh, short on movement. We definitely need to improve on that. No, we don't want to throw anything in here. Hang on, mercenaries. My name is Assertia. I am one of Lord Vanalis's lieutenants. What? You've killed them? I can't believe it. There was a bounty on their heads. I think it is... Very good. So... We are indirectly making progress. I like it how there are a couple of tough moral uh, decisions, but at the end you're getting the same reward. It just influences uh, the game in a different way. All right, this is a good time for us uh, to do a cut. We have been in there for uh, 30 to 45 minutes. And I talked a lot about uh, the, uh, the reskilling. I am quite happy with how it has turned out. Let me know what you think. Is that meeting expectations? How is the group performing? I'd like to get your thoughts. And uh, of course, if you are an accurate archer, make sure that you bullseye the like button. That would be helpful. Thanks and see you in two days.